A nonprofit in the Midwest is working to make early childhood education in Kansas City more equitable and accessible, too. Fox Force Kelly Peltier is live in Kansas City with how they're addressing what they call a crisis. Kelly? Hey, good afternoon, Pat. Yeah, that nonprofit IFF just released the study. It shows a lot of the roadblocks that parents and educators have to face when it comes to getting children that early education that they need. That study is called No Small Things, Addressing Systemic Inequities in Early Childhood Education. It looked at the need for early childhood services and what the barriers are here in Kansas City. According to the findings, the problem is a crisis that has only gotten worse since COVID. The study found that 95% of providers here in Kansas City are women and more K-12 programs were closed in predominantly black and Latin communities. The study also find, found that child care in Kansas and Missouri is more expensive than the average cost of rent. Early childhood education is the foundation upon which a child's future success is built. Uh, it is during these formative years that children develop essential cognitive, social, and emotional skills that will shape their trajectory in life. Yet we're acutely aware that not all children have equal access to quality early education opportunities. So what's the answer? Well, IFF says better teacher retention and training, compensation and affordability. Leaders say aligning pay scales and benefits with the K-12 system and raising the maximum income threshold for child care subsidy will help to address those solutions. We know that IFF did a similar study in St. Louis. Because of their findings, the education system there was able to find an additional $2 million for early childhood education. Leaders here say now the goal is to partner up with other community partners who have invested in closing those barriers to getting more children educated here in Kansas City. Pat? All right, Kelly Peltier live at this hour. Thanks for that.